All right, welcome everybody. I'm Jason Lynette. We're talking hypnotic business systems, and I'm here with Karen Gray. Karen, how are you? I'm good, Jason. How are you? Excellent. Thanks for joining me here briefly here today. So for those that don't yet know you, can you give a little bit more uh, backstory to who you are and what you're currently doing? Absolutely. So I opened my hypnosis practice after taking your course in 2016. And I operate out of Lebanon, New Hampshire. And by background, I'm a registered nurse and hypnosis wasn't anywhere near my radar. So I was fresh into everything when I signed up for your course. Which I have to shorten the uh, story there, or at least paraphrase it, which was that someone else you know took the class. He then yeah. got you into a hypnotic phenomenon of the arm lock and you went, I need to learn this, right? Yeah, it was yeah. the coolest thing ever. So, <laughs> <laughs> so that's what got me hooked. Yeah. And from there, it's just been growing. Awesome. Phenomenal. That's awesome here. And you've been on the podcast twice and I'm sure again sometime uh, soon as you've done some really cool stuff in the shape of your business. So in addition to doing the original training with me, you also then became a part of Hypnotic Business Systems. And uh, we're having a bit of a chat about some of the strategies you've picked up from that and some of the results. So could you highlight a few things that have stood out to you? Absolutely. Um, most recently, with all the things that are going on in the world right now and having to transition to a fully online platform, the frameworks that you provide within business systems, the online videos, mm -hmm. the um, funnel strategies have come in really handy. When we first started our social distancing adventure, I experienced about a 60% drop mm -hmm. in clients. And rather than just decide that that's how it was going to be, came back to business systems and with the question of what can I do right now? Yeah. What, can I put, can, what can I put into place right this minute to get everything back online? And I think my favorite part about that is we've talked about this before that I do things a little differently. <laughs> I use a different um, CRM platform and a different web host than most people. So the ability to take all of these tools within business system and tweak them and apply them to what I'm already doing. And now I'm back up to, let me see, I just looked at the calendar today. So I'm only down about 20% in clients of where I was last year. Mm -hmm. And I made that happen in what, three weeks? Nice. Yeah. yeah, there's a there's a mindset that I live by of that frameworks equal freedom. So this way, when I'm turning on the camera to do a video, I've got an idea as to what I'm already going to do. If I need to send an email, if we need to create some new campaign, uh, right before we hopped on, I showed you two things that we're workshopping right now, which were in different parts of the business, but they were basically the same framework, right. where the goal was not to be the person telling you all, hey, here's what I did 10 years ago to build my business. It's instead to be that person that's going to tell you what's still going to work 10 years from now when all of these things change. So right. by bringing in those uh, systems in terms of the videos and the interactions, uh, what's that been equating for you? What's that been, uh, you know, sort of uh, producing as an outcome in terms of keeping a business running, even when things are a little tough out there? It's been, it's been different. So yeah. One of the things I've done has been to, let's go with the group machine. Yeah. I love the group session machine. Okay. And it was one of the first things I latched onto once I realized that I was seeing clients in the office and being able to take that and to transition it to a group Zoom session to use that targeted type of bullet point marketing that I love, mm -hmm. get your attention. Hey, you really want this, don't you? <laughs> and get people signed on to this group session that then feeds into the funnel. Mm -hmm. You're in my group session. I'm going to send you this audio program because we had so much fun. And then the audio program feeds you into, I know you're enjoying this. When you're ready to take it a step further now, let's talk. Um, so that's been, that's actually been the majority of the new client intakes that I've had now. 
Nice. And it all came from those structures and frameworks from business systems. Yeah, which we go deeper into the funnel strategy and other modules, but there is a segment, uh, you know, the course itself could be watched linear of start here, finish there. Yep. But we also built it in a way that every section stands on its own. And the group session machine, just briefly here, is what built Virginia Hypnosis, just as Karen's describing. Uh, I was seeing about 15 people in the room uh, for a $50 hour and a half self-hypnosis workshop which then those were the people who were very clearly interested in hypnosis and personal services. And it's that group that I did that promotion to. So what's cool about this is that nearly every business is going to have some sort of cost of getting a new client, even if it's advertising spend or even if it's time effort. But with a strategy like group session, the strategy of either just selling something and letting that lead to the next step makes it so you can actually earn money as you're actually acquiring those new clients. Right. Yeah. Right. I think one of my other favorite pieces about this whole thing is that it's right there. So I had a client not too long ago who was particularly tricky and was following directions, but I don't know if they were where I wanted them to be or even where they wanted to be within the session. I came back to, of all things, the go deep segment. Yeah because what am I missing? Oh my God. And I came back. Um, I can't remember what stood out for me, but I came back to the session, dropped them like a rock and got down to business. It was fantastic. Yeah. Which you hinted at something that's actually inside of workers, the hypnosis training, yeah. but I do want to elaborate on that here because so much of the content is based upon this premise, the reality that the work we do with our clients matches the same model of exactly how we run our businesses. If you have mm -hmm. that client who you feel you're not quite in sync with or isn't quite as responsive as you would like, the method I teach on the hypnotherapy side is to bring them further into the process, do something interactive, give them a specific instruction. The same way that, as you found as everything coronavirus hit, here came this community that you already had access to by being active in your community. You're doing some amazing stuff with that. And realizing that all I need to do is just become active once again, re-engage those people, you know, and maybe change the offer up a little bit that uh, mm -hmm. this wasn't a time to necessarily have to cut our fees, but to change that entry point. And like you mentioned, using the group session as a format for that. Mm -hmm. It is. And I think another piece that really stands out for me that makes it a huge value for me in the way that I operate is that it's... It's all right there. Mm -hmm. It's waiting for me when I'm ready to use it. You know, I've been extremely successful in building this practice. And now I'm at that place of reevaluating what success looks like. Where do yeah. I go now? So then it's again a matter of coming back to business systems and what can I implement right now? What do I want to do in six months? What do I want to do in a year? And then the way that you have it set up, I can track it all the way back to how do I make all of that happen? Mm -hmm. um, there's so many pieces. Like I'm nowhere near ready to have a podcast, but I could. Right. Because I'm Although even to look at that right podcasting there. content, I'll give a preview here that uh, there's a principle which I only discovered that I was doing this by looking at the first 170 or so episodes of the podcast that I had put out. And I call this the podcasting triangle. Mm -hmm. And this is a formula for creating content and it becomes another theoretical metaphorical machine that just now, as soon as you label this, you can produce your own stuff, whether it's a video, whether it's a podcast, whether it's an article. Right. And the three points of that triangle are one, I'm going to interview people in my industry or in related industries, which indirectly puts you as the peer to those people. Second of all, I'm going to teach some of my best stuff. You know, I'm going to just unleash the real content that I teach, even behind the wall of a class, a paid event, yeah. or an online product. But then I'm also going to interview people who have done training with me, which this was never the intention, but it's where by interviewing the person who might have been a client or even might have been a student, what's that doing? It's validating the stuff that I teach produces results with other people, right. which I'm realizing is extremely meta as we're having that conversation right now. Just a little. <laughs> Boom. It's a dream inside of another dream. <laughs> so in the shape of things, um, what other modules, what other sort of discoveries have come out of being a part of this community? 
Um, the community aspect itself, I do love. Um, we've talked about how I love that I can take what you've built and with all due respect, pull it apart. Yeah. Take this piece from that and that piece from this and turn it into something that is so brilliantly, uniquely Karen. Yes. That it's perfect and flawless, really. Um, I found the outsourcing really beneficial for one very big reason. I hate spending money. <laughs> and so I resist that with everything that I am, but realizing with that outsourcing module, the equation between my time, mm -hmm. that money, what I want to learn and be good at and what I really don't. Mm -hmm. I don't ever want to be a sound engineer. So, but now with all of that, I know what I need to know enough to get the point across to say, make me one that looks like this. Mm -hmm. That's the language. <laughs> or make this prettier. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, that is one of those biggest breaking points. And often it, it is that limitation between that person who they can be extremely successful at what they're doing, but then they become that, uh, as I call it, the superhero syndrome that they have to do it all themselves. Uh, I, I was showing you something before we turned on the recording that we're workshopping right now which I went, I had to pay a guy 350 bucks to figure this out. But now that we have it, it's a system. We can do it time and time again. Yep. And truthfully, he did it a whole lot better than I ever could have. So uh, when you see like my stuff on Facebook or the websites or even the podcast designs or even the entire Virginia Hypnosis website, I don't know how that works. Uh, right. Someone else does. <laughs> and even better, they can do it better at less of a cost than it would be what my time is worth. So that mm -hmm. willingness to go beyond just the individual trying to make it all happen and instead become that ringmaster who's in the middle directing this project, directing that project, or the next level of it is to hire someone to watch the training videos for you and work as a project manager and tell you what to create. That's fun. You see that? You see that epiphany? <laughs> we had to replace my uh, web designer a few months ago. And the first task was, hey, we're using this website platform. Could you watch these videos? Here's the project I want to do. You tell me what content I need to create. And she, nice. It's amazing. I yeah. love that. Which, thank you so much for joining me here. Any final thoughts for those that are out there in terms of looking at ways to, to grow their own hypnotic businesses? I think one of the biggest pieces that I would share with somebody, especially somebody just starting out from being a person who thinks they have to know everything, you don't. And you just have to know where to find it. Mm -hmm. And having everything all nicely packaged and fun and funny and interesting and informative all in one place has been the backbone and the structure of everything I've created in Green Mountain Hypnosis. So thank you. <laughs>